Hello, 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 Raf Sodi Nation. Welcome back to Raf Sodi Channel. Um, today is Sunday. Let's see what the man of God got for us. So the theme verse for today is direct their course through prayer. Direct their course through prayer. Amen. And the team verse is taken from First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Amen. So let's dive into today's devotional. So our theme scripture is the, is the Spirit's admonition through Paul to the church to the church on the importance of earnest intercession for all men our countries of domicile and the leaders therein the result of such is an overwhelming experience of god's blessings of peace and prosperity this is part of what you do in obedience praying contending for the hearts of men in your country and around the world that god's righteousness be established and all forms of evil turmoil wickedness and terror be thwarted today the happenings in our world are a great source of concern but the church holds the solution the church is the only restraining power against evil in the earth today. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 says, So you must pray and not complain. If you don't pray for your country, the leaders and people, where would peace come from? Read our team verse again. God's directive on how we must pray in order to experience peace in our nations is clear it is not by bearing arms or becoming righteous rise to the challenge and take up the responsibility of prayer pray earnestly and fervidly in the spirit for the nations and leaders of the countries where you live or work and the rest of the world declare that god's righteousness prevails and his glory rests on and influences men's heart as god's people boldly proclaim the gospel pray also for ministers that they will be granted more grace to preach the gospel with boldness and power that many more souls will be added to the church all around the world until the rapture takes place we hold the true reins of power in the nations and have the authority to direct their course through prayer. Amen. Confession, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that your peace, progress, and prosperity will reign in the nations of the world, that you will grant the ministers of the gospel the courage to preach and to minister your word boldly i pray that the power and influence of their message will kindle your love in people's hearts thank you for the tremendous and glorious transformation of many lives through the gospel today in jesus name amen glory for further studies we have colossians chapter 4 verse 2 Luke 
chapter 18 verse 1 jeremiah 29 verse 7 glory to god amen well the word has come to us i don't know about you but i'm just extending this invitation to you if you are still wondering about jesus you don't know your stand with jesus I'm just using this opportunity to invite you to him. He loves you. He died for you. He shed his blood for you. He's the only one that shed his blood for you. He's the only one that can save you. So if you are one of those people and you are willing to start a relationship with Jesus, well, this is your moment. So you're going to say these prayers after me and believe it in your heart. Believe it, profess it in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is the prayer right here. It reads, Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information, I will leave some phone numbers in the description. Make sure to call any of the numbers that relate to you, whether you are in the US, USA, UK, Nigeria, or Canada. All the numbers will be there so call any of those contacts and they will send you a gift or they will give you a code to download a book that will help you with your new journey the title of the book is now that you are born again glory hallelujah if you are one of those people that have just said this prayer with me I want to pray with you shortly so our Heavenly Father we thank you for these souls that have taken the bold step today to accept you. That they, are, they start this journey. Teach them. Appear to them. Show them the way. Give them the knowledge they need to discern. Daddy, I'm using this point of contact. If they have any sickness, any form of ailment, infirmity that they are used today, as they receive you, their bodies are made whole in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you for this miracle of saving souls in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this miracle of saving lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, 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 well. Welcome to God's family. And... I promise you, you will never regret taking this step in the name of Jesus. Once again, I'm just a vessel doing my father's work. So I'll see you next time on Rhapsody Channel. See you next time. <laughs>